Welcome to Music City Gospel Review, the voice he hears. I'm your host, and my name is Renee Lee. We're coming to you from Nashville, Tennessee, and we've got a really special guest for you today. Got a treat lined up here. She's come in from Dallas, Texas, and many of you are going to recognize her. Her name is Panda Ross, and she was on The X Factor last year, and we're very excited that she's here in our studio now. Let's go to the set where she's going to perform a song for you called he pulled me through. This hole in my soul, you reached out your arms to me, held out your heart to me, pulled me back from the air. pulled me through what an awesome song ladies and gentlemen make welcome again panda ross on the set well, thank you Renee, to be here today. we are so excited to have you in nashville i'm excited to be in nashville it's my first time here <laughs> and you flew in from dallas yes. texas yes okay um what we're going to do ladies and gentlemen is we're going to talk to her in this segment about what made her a phenomenon all over the world <laughs> She's a gospel singer. We'll talk about that later on in the program. But let's talk about the X Factor. Yes. Tell the viewers 
about your experience there. <laughs> that was an awesome experience, just being able to go and to perform in front of Simon, of course, and <laughs> the rest of the panel. It was an awesome experience, and it was great meeting different people and from uh, different parts of the world that, you know, have the same desire as mm -hmm. I do just to sing and, and accomplish their dreams. So it was, mm -hmm. it was really awesome just being there. Now, your audition, that was the first time you were on national television, correct? Yes, yes. And you got up there and you auditioned, and it just went viral because you were such a nut. You were so funny. I'm telling you, if you haven't seen it, go to YouTube and search for Panda Ross. But it's had over 6 million views on YouTube. You just love Simon. I love Simon. <laughs> well, maybe one day I'll be uh, Mrs. Yep. Cow. I got to say this before we rolled the camera. She said, Simon needs to see this. I look good in these chairs. <laughs> Actually, you said I look skinny. I look skinny. When you were on the X Factor, you weighed a lot more. Yes. Uh, tell us about that. Yeah, and uh, I was uh, had been having some uh, health issues, and I was uh, supposed to have surgery to correct some of those things, but I chose not to do it because, of course, I was going to the show. I didn't know how it was going to affect me. So since the show, I've had um, surgery, weight loss surgery, to help correct some uh, health issues that I had. And so, yeah, I've lost, like, probably 91 pounds since then. Wow. So <laughs> I think he'll be a little surprised next time he sees me. You look great, though. Well, thank you. Right. Now, what made you choose the song that you sang on there, the Sam Cooke song? What was the name of it? Sam Cooke. Uh, yes. You uh, bring, uh, bring It On Home. Bring It On Home. Uh, I, I think Sam Cooke is an awesome, oh, my God. I just love his music. And yes. as great. I began to, uh, you know, do some research on him, I found out that we had a lot in common. We both, uh, uh, we both you know, sang, grew up singing in the church choir, and mm -hmm. we both had our ups and downs with drug addiction and, you know, I, I just started listening to his um, to his music and found out that he died on December the 11th, 1967, and I was born December the 11th, 1969. So oh it was just some kind of connection there. All of his music, I just love it. And you know, I work at um, Starbucks, so <laughs> every time the music is playing, I'm like, well, who sings that song? So I remember going in the back one day and looking, and I found oh. out it was him, and so... I what did your coworkers think about at Starbucks? <laughs> so all of a sudden, you're serving coffee. Did your customers and coworkers just flip out? <laughs> I think they kind of expected. They've been pushing me for for. I've been working there like eight years, so they've been pushing me. Go do this. Go do that. Because they call me the singing barista. I'm there at four o'clock in the morning, and I'm singing and, and yes. I'm singing everything, country, gospel. <laughs> I'm singing it all. So they was like, they call me their singing barista. So they were. They told me I need to go try out for the X Factor. And when I found out there was no age limit, I was like, oh, okay, yes. it's my season. It's my time because all well, the other shows have age limits. Yes. It was definitely a God appointment for you yes. because it's open doors for you. Yes. Like I said, you've had that 6 million views on YouTube. Um, also tell the viewers about this year, you're not from X Factor, <laughs> but you're doing reviews of American mm -hmm. Idol contestants yes. with Jason Brock yes. on YouTube. Jason Brock was a person I definitely connected with with when I got to boot camp and um, he uh, he and I were doing a commentary show online you can subscribe to Jason Brock Panda Ross and check us out we're doing uh, reviews for American Idol which is turning out to be a phenomenal show this year and they're funny yeah. I've watched them they <laughs> are so funny the way you talk about and, and you give kudos when it's due and then you're like oh, I didn't like that girl you know <laughs> and um, your personality is just what stands out during the X Factor audition, too, what impressed me when I watched that clip was you were backstage praying in the name of Jesus yes. at the moment the girl came back to get you. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so um, it's, it's funny how God puts us in places to be a witness and a light to others. Amen. And now with the reviews with American Idol, you're also able to share that bigger-than-life personality. Amen. Amen. And, I, and I'm so excited, uh, like I said, about... Uh, the the opportunity that I was given just to be able to go there and audition. I only went to the X Factor audition hoping to win $5 million so that our church, the church I belong to, we could build a church from the ground up. In the process, I've been able to win souls to the Lord. You know, there was two girls in Austin who were atheists, and I was able to win them over to the Lord. So it, that, that alone takes care of $5 million for me to win a soul for the Lord. So it, it's, it's been awesome just being able to spread the gospel through this opportunity that was given to me. Okay. Um, we've just got a few seconds left before your next song. Um, tell the viewers 
how to get in touch with you on the internet. We're going to continue the inter interview in a minute. What's your website address? www.pandaross.com. And you've got <laughs> CDs on there. CDs, T-shirts. Yes. More. And a Twitter account. You're hot as a firecracker <laughs> on Twitter now. Yeah. Yes, your fans Real Panda Ross. love you. And um, what's the name of your personal YouTube channel as well? Panda Ross. Just Ross. Ross, yeah. Okay, we're going to go ahead and go to the uh, next song. And what are you singing? He's able. He's able. Yes, he is. Okay, I hope you enjoy this song, ladies and gentlemen, by Panda Ross. Amen. Hallelujah. If you're watching this program today, I want you to know that God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask of Him, according to the power that worketh in me. Hallelujah. Exceedingly, abundantly, above all, all you can ask or think, according to the power that works in you.
Hallelujah. He's able yes. to do exceedingly abundantly above everything. Everything. Panda Ross is here again. Amen. And uh, thank you again for coming to Nashville. Man, I want to thank John Watson and New Country for bringing me out here. Yes. What an awesome opportunity. Yes. Yeah. We had a great meet and greet for you last night, too. Had a lot of people come out. Yes. And uh, what do you call your fans again? Panda Fandas. That's right. <laughs> Panda Fandas. And um, we had a really good time. Yes, we did. I want to take a little time during this segment um, to give you an opportunity to share some of your testimony that we were talking about before um, we came on the set because uh, you've been through a lot. Yes. Um, why don't you start back when your mother was in jail? Yes. Well, know? my uh, my mother, um, she was in prison when she had me, and yes. uh, my grandmother came and got me and raised me um, from three days old. And uh, I love my grandmother; I was always her favorite. Uh, but I gave her a lot of problems. I had to fight. I fought a lot when I was growing up. Mostly because teens would tease me about my name and other stuff like that. But uh, by the time I was 13 years old, I um, was into, you know, smoking marijuana, hanging out in the park, getting drunk, um, just sleeping around uh, with men already at the age of 13. And I know that this came from a life of not having a father or mother and always desiring love, you know, from a man. And so I look for it in, in other men, you know what I mean? And so that lifestyle just um, kind of took me down the road, the wrong road, and I hung out with the wrong crowd, and I did a lot of the wrong things. And my grandmother was older, of course, so she moved me to Dallas, Texas with my aunt, who in turn raised me and began raising me. And, you know, it's just like, you know, I went there with the intentions of, you know, changing my life and proving to my grandmother that I could be good and that things would be different. Well, things weren't different. Uh, eventually, I got back into fighting and into drugs and you know, it went from going from uh, juvenile to jail to prison. And um, I met my kid's father, who was the one who, you know, in introduced me to uh, crack cocaine. And uh, me and him, we had a crazy lifestyle together, a lot of fighting, a lot of abuse, a lot of drugs, you know, robbery. And, um, you know, I remember he went to prison. After he went to prison, uh, I began to uh, prostitute the streets of Dallas and wow. hang out. And I remember leaving uh, my uh, kids with... Uh, with my aunt, and they kind of got tossed around from my aunt to my grandmother, you know, just different ones. People don't know this about Panda. Mm -hmm. This is this is the real Panda, what yeah. she's been through and what God has brought her from. Yeah. And um, they may interrupt you, but That's I want you to um, share with them. It got so bad mm -hmm. at one point, you almost lost your life. Tell yes, them, I, them I was six and a half months pregnant. Um, and uh, I was uh, walking down the street. I had been up smoking crack cocaine for probably about um, 12 hours straight. And I remember going home and I got uh, a man came up to me in the middle of the street and put a gun up to my head. And he raped me. He made me get naked right there in the middle of the street. He raped me and pulled the trigger twice, a fully loaded gun. And both times the gun got jammed. So... I got Both spared times. Me. God That's spared me. Jesus. That's right Jesus. There. That's why I sing that song, You Pulled Me Through, because I yes. know at that particular moment that was only God that pulled me through. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I remember sitting on that curb naked, stark naked, because I ran to a lot of people's house trying to get help, but no one would open their door. And I remember, you know, I heard the ambulance come, and the ambulance came, and and they took me, and I remember getting to the hospital. And once I got to the hospital, and I got home, and I called my grandmother. She was on the first plane from New Mexico to come and see about me. But I remember having a dream about kids being born addicted to crack. And back in the 80s, they were taking a lot of people back and forth to jail for, you know, kids being born addicted to drugs. And and so I, I, I remember going to sleep, and I had that bad dream. And I woke up, and Oprah Winfrey, the TV was on. Oprah Winfrey was having a show about kids being born addicted to crack. But thank God. Wow. My son was born. He's alive and well. Praise he plays God. the drums in our church where I lead worship. Serving the Lord. And he's serving the Lord. He's and my the name miracle. of your home church is? Victory Outreach International. All right. And I love my church because we help people with drug and alcohol problems. And there's not a place in the United States you can go that there's not a Victory Outreach with an open free door for someone who wants to get their life together. Now, I want to talk just a minute about your career. Now, First of all, she has a CD available at her website. And tell the name of your website again. It's uh, pandaross.com. You okay. can go there and get T-shirts, whatever, yes. all kinds of products. Where do you see yourself going? Where do you feel the Lord's leading you in your career? And 
definitely gospel singing. I mean, I love oldies. I love doing all kinds of things. But the heart of my music is 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 gospel music, and I know that that's what you know God called me to do. So I see me being a great gospel singer, singing with the I best of the gospel singers. I do too. <laughs> and your children support you. They were there with you on the X oh, Factor, yeah. and I can see them traveling with you oh, and helping yeah. you with your luggage and <laughs> things. And they wish they were here today. My daughter, she wanted to come, and I was like, no, not this trip. Next what are their names? Daryl and Darlinda Perkins. Okay. Um, also, I want to ask you about your family. Is your grandmother still with us? My grandmother got to see me saved and serving the Lord, thank God, for five years yeah. straight. And uh, she died on Christmas Day 11 years ago. So I've been serving the Lord for 16 years since January 25th, 1997. Mm -hmm. Well, do you think you're going to go out for the X Factor again? That's the big question. You've lost all this weight. Simon's got to see you now. Girl, you know. He's got to see you. I'll tell you what. Keep your eyes open because y'all are going to be surprised <laughs> who y'all see on season three. Uh-oh. <laughs> going down <laughs> that's a little tidbit nashville you better keep your tvs on for the x factor that's because right. you might get a piece of panda pie oh, as you say they're gonna get a piece of panda pie <laughs> <laughs> have you got a song picked out to audition oh yeah i'm gonna do well i can't oh, i'll you just can't tell you this i'm gonna do etta james that's, i'm not etta gonna tell james? you which one but i'll tell you what it ain't at last <laughs> <laughs> well that one's been sung a lot mm -hmm. but uh etta james is great music Great songs. <laughs> and, uh, well, you may even see some of your friends out there that you made from the first trip. Yes, I'm looking forward to that. I hope so. But, ladies and gentlemen, God has brought this woman through. We don't have enough time today <laughs> to go over everything that you've been through. And God has just been great. Yes, so is. you're going to sing us another song now? Yes, and I love this song because at my lowest point, when no one, not even my family, no one had wanted to have anything to do with me, mm -hmm. God, he heard my prayer. Sinner's and Prayer. Yes. She's going to sing. Stay tuned here. Yeah. A sinner's prayer for you He hears a sinner's prayer. My God, he hears a sinner's cry. Oh, Lord, he hears a sinner's prayer. I could have been dead, sleeping in my grave. But God bless me to see, yes, he did another day. Even when I did wrong, he was still there. And I'm so glad that God is still here. My God still heals a sinner's prayer. Yes, I'm so glad that God is still here. He still heals a sinner's prayer. I walked to the church, y'all, on a Sunday morning. And I stood outside contemplating whether or not to walk through the door. You see, a lot of folks know me from way back when. People who owed me to all my passing. But I know all have sinned. We've fallen short of his glory. Yeah. I'm just glad I'm still here to tell my story. I should have been dead. I should have been dead. I should have been sleeping in my grave. But God bless me to see yesterday another day. And even when I did wrong, yes, he was still there. And I'm so glad that God.
falling short of its glory. Yeah. I'm just glad I'm still here to tell my story. Yeah. I should have been dead. I should have been dead. I should have been sleeping in my grave. But God bless me to see it today another day. And even when I did wrong. So let me go. He's still here. I said his prayer. So let us pray. Let us pray now. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day, Lord, our daily prayer. Forgive us, Lord, of our debt as we forgive our debt, Lord. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us, deliver us, oh Lord, from the evil one. I know I said I'm so glad, I'm so glad, yeah, I'm so glad, I'm so glad. for a sinner's prayer panda and thank god that panda ross came to nashville tennessee and we've got her cd right here uh, go to pandaross.com order it and also go to music city gospel review mcgospelreview.com let us know what you thought about today's program watch for the x factor this year you may see panda ross on there and uh thanks again for tuning in goodbye